If you're anything like me, we're always looking to make improvements on our PBC campaign performance. We're always deciding if maybe changing my bid strategy would be a good idea. What about my ad scheduling? Maybe I need to change my bids and see what could try to get more aggressive or less aggressive or something along those lines. So if we're going to do that, there are kind of a couple ways we can go about it. We can either make the changes to our existing campaign and do a before and after analysis and try and understand if performance has gotten better since we've made our changes. But sometimes that's got some issues. Maybe performance changes on a weekly basis and we might be hitting a different group of people. Maybe you have seasonality or maybe you just don't really like running before and after because there are a number of different issues that can come with that. So instead, what I want to talk about today are Google Ads campaign experiments where we can create a draft campaign, which is effectively a duplication of our existing campaign, and then we can make all the changes in it that we want, and then run a split test between the control, the existing campaign, and the experiment with all of our changes in it, and just see which performs better head to head. And then if the experiment performs better, we can actually roll out the changes directly, or if it doesn't, we can shut it down, maybe start a new one, or just leave the existing campaign in its place and let it run and get the performance that it's getting. So let's go ahead and jump in and set up a test campaign experiment in Google Ads. So in this Google Ads account, I have a campaign that I want to start testing something a little bit different. Right now, it's currently capped by budget, and I want to see if I can get a little bit better performance out of it if I make some adjustments to the ad scheduling on the campaign. You can set up experiments in a couple of different ways. You can either start from the All Campaign section and come down here to Drafts and Experiments, then you'll see any existing drafts that are currently in the campaigns. You can see campaign drafts, experiments up here, and then add variations. And then you can click the blue plus button to create a new draft. And then you'll select your campaign from here. So you just click the pencil and you'll choose the campaign that you want to drop down from. Just in case you didn't go this route the first time, you can also create them from within the campaign itself. Let's say you're actually in the campaign that you want to start impacting. You're looking at performance and you think, maybe I want to adjust the day parting and see if that'll help out with the limited budget here. When you're already in the campaign, you can come down to drafts and experiments as well. Click the blue button and you'll see that you don't have the option to choose the campaign because you're already in it. So you can create a campaign experiment either when you're on the all campaigns tab or from within the campaign itself. So let's go ahead and start creating our draft campaign. I'm just going to create a draft name for day parting adjustment so I know what I'm looking at and what I'm planning to test. You can make this as specific as you need to to make sure that when you go back later on, you know what you were testing. And then you can write a different description if you need to and then just click save. And then it will populate you into what looks like a regular campaign editor. Everything looks the same. The only thing that's different is you'll notice up here in the breadcrumb that it will show that you're in all campaigns, then drafts than the name of your draft as opposed to the normal campaign in information that it would show you. It'll also constantly have draft status and tell you what it is and then what the original campaign that that draft was based off of. So now that we're in here, we want to actually create the changes that we want to test in the campaign. That's why they give you all of the same options that you have within your regular campaigns editor. So I want to just test the ad schedule. I want to see what it'll do if I turn it off on the weekends. So I'm going to come over here to the ad schedule section, and then I'm going to start to adjust my actual ad schedule. Right now it's set on all days, so I'm going to change it to Monday to Friday. That way it's not running on the weekends. I'm going to hit save. Easy enough. Now all of my day parting is set up and I've got my ad schedule squared away. So now I want to actually turn this into a campaign experiment. We're only part of the way done. Basically what we've done is we've staged the experiment portion of our experiment, which is not the best way to be able to phrase things, but we basically have the staged test variable in place. Now we need to actually set it live. So I'm going to hop back into the drafts and experiments tab. And now you'll notice that the drafts went away because I'm currently in a draft because I'm in the draft. So now I'm going to click a new experiment. I'm going to name the experiment. So choose the name here that makes sense based on what you're testing, but also keep in mind that if you pull any reports that are based on your campaign name, whether it needs to have search included or US included, or if basically if you're making any reports on campaign name, you will want to duplicate that previous campaign, the original campaign name in this new experiment campaign name and then make an adjustment to the end of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to duplicate the name of the campaign and then I'm going to write day parting adjustment on the end of it. 
So now if I pull a report, I'll be able to search for the campaign name itself and it will include the control and the experiment. And then the day parting adjustment after piece will be either included or not, depending on the other adjustments I make to my report. That's just something to keep in mind. I can then choose the start date and an end date if I want it to have one, or I can leave it as none if I want it to run as open-ended. Then you get to choose the experiment split. This is where you choose how much volume you want to go to your test campaign versus the control. If you're very sensitive to changes in your account, I suggest that you make this something closer to 10% going toward the experiment, maybe 25%. But if you're pretty comfortable having a 50-50 split, that's what's going to give you the fastest return on results to know whether the adjusted day parting is actually improving performance or not. It means that you're gonna get the most data through both variables as quickly as possible. And then the next piece is just around search-based or cookie-based experiment split options. With a search-based split, that means that somebody could see the control version of the campaign on one search, and then if they come through on the same device, even in the same day, it doesn't matter. If they do a similar search and find their way into your campaigns, they could go to the control or the experiment. And in my experience, that's just not really the best way to do it. I would suggest you pretty much always use the cookie-based experiment to make sure that you have everything squared away. Then just hit save, and you'll notice that it is creating. So it's gonna create the experiment and make sure that it's ready to go. Once that campaign experiment has been created, since the start date is the day that I created it, it will go live and start splitting the campaign data between the two different line items, depending on which campaign people are put into based on their cookie, either the control or the experiment. So if we go back to the all campaigns tab, we'll now see that I have both my control campaign and my experiment campaign as two separate line items next to each other. And this is how all the data will come through. And this is where it makes it so easy to compare the data of the two pieces because it's actually broken out on the campaigns tab for you to see the performance between the two. And it should be pretty easy to determine which one is the top performer after a certain amount of time. So now let's say that we've had this campaign running for a while and we know that we wanna go back to just the original campaign. We wanna stick with the control that was in place because the experiment, my day party experiment just didn't work. So we wanna go away from that. So then we just need to go down to the drafts and experiments section, go over into campaign experiments, and then we'll see the experiment campaign set up here. This is gonna look a little bit different because I just set this up and it's still considered scheduled and pending, but go on this journey with me. If we go and click into the campaign, there's gonna be this section up at the top that kind of shows the performance difference between the control and the experiment that we just set up. And once your campaign has been running for a while, you'll come over here in this right-hand side and you'll see apply. And this, right now it says cancel. But if you've had this campaign running for a while, it'll say end now. So what we can do is if we're ready to turn off the campaign, if we think that the campaign experiment has performed better than control, you can hit apply and the changes that you made to the draft campaign, to your experiment, will take hold in your control campaign. So in this instance, the day parting schedules that I changed in the experiment campaign will be applied to the control campaign. But that's not what we wanna do here. Instead, I would click the end now button and it would turn off the test and 100% of the traffic would go back to the control campaign and this experiment would be ended. Once you've ended your campaign experiment, just test something different. You can use campaign experiments again to maybe your ad scheduling test didn't work, but maybe you wanna test bid strategy or you just wanna adjust the conversion action or something along those lines. Who knows? Sky's the limit when it comes down to that. Um, just keep in mind that if you're constantly running experiments in your campaigns on that one specific piece, you probably also have other regular maintenance within the campaigns as well. Maybe the individual keyword bids need adjusted. Maybe you need to review the search query report or you're starting a new ad copy test. When you have a campaign experiment running, the benefit is that you have two line items worth of data because they're two effectively separate campaigns. But if you think about it, that means that everything in those campaigns is separate because that's the goal. You wanna test things to be separate so you'll know if ad scheduling or bid strategies or whatever else will make an improvement on performance. That also means that if you go through and you're doing a round of uh, search query reports and you're adding in a number of negative keywords, you have to apply it to both the control and the experiment campaign or else you're going to be impacting only one or the other. The only thing that you will impact that will adjust for both 
is the daily budget on the control campaign. You'll notice that in the ads editor, in the campaigns manager, you will not be able to edit the budget for the campaign experiment. It'll be grayed out and it'll be identical to whatever the control campaign is, but everything else is separate. So if you start a new ad copy test, you need to do all of the work to set up all of the ad copy, ad group names, campaign name, all that kind of stuff in both the control and the experiment campaign, or else you'll start to throw too many variables into the mix. So make sure that whatever you do while you're running your campaign experiments, you're making the, the changes to the control and the experiment campaign outside of that one fact that you're actually testing. So hope that helps. Happy testing. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure to subscribe to the Paid Media Pros channel to see more videos. 